Welcome to Science Excel, where our motto is to enhance the learning curve. In today's tutorial, let's start with drawing electronic configuration diagrams. What is electronic configuration? Electronic configuration is the arrangement of electrons in orbits around the nucleus of an atom. Now let's understand the different orbits or shells in an atom. We can see the electrons are located in simple rings or shells surrounding the nucleus. Each shell represents a different energy level and it can only hold a certain maximum number of electrons. In the diagram, the shell nearest to the nucleus is called the first shell and denoted by the letter K. The next shell is L, then M and N and so on and so forth. The maximum number of electrons a shell can contain is obtained by the formula 2N square, where N is the number of a shell which can be equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. So what is the maximum number of electrons that can be placed in each shell? Let's find out. For shell K, the number of a shell that is N is equal to 1. So the number of electrons is 2N square. Now putting N equal to 1, we get 2 into 1 square which is equal to 2. So in this way, we can calculate the number of electrons for shell L which is 8, for shell M which is 18 and shell N which is 32. Now there are some rules you need to remember while drawing an electronic configuration. The maximum number of electrons in any given shell is given by the formula 2n square. The maximum number of electrons in the outermost shell is 8. The electrons are not accommodated in any given shell until their inner shells are filled. In other words, shells are filled in a stepwise manner. Now let's take carbon atom as an example. With an atomic number of 6, it must have 6 electrons to balance the positive charge of the six protons in the nucleus. Let's put the first two electrons in shell K. As this shell can only have a maximum of two electrons. Now we are left with four electrons. All of these four electrons will now go into the next shell L which can accommodate a maximum of eight electrons. So you can see in the carbon atom all the six electrons have got arranged in the shells K and L. Do you know that there is a shorthand way of writing the electronic configuration? The electronic configuration of carbon can be depicted as a symbol of carbon followed by 2 comma 4 which tells us that shell K has two electrons and shell L has four electrons. Let's take argon atom as an example. Its atomic number is 18. Two electrons can go to shell K, which is the maximum it can hold. Next is the shell L, which can accommodate a maximum of 8 electrons. So in total, 10 electrons are present in these two shells and we are left with 18 minus 10 which is equal to 8 electrons. These 8 electrons occupy the next shell that is M. So all the 18 electrons have got arranged in their respective shells. So how would you write the electronic configuration of an argon atom in numbers? We write the symbol of argon followed by 2 electrons in shell K 8 electrons in shell L and the last 8 electrons in shell M. We encourage you to explore the summary created as a brain-friendly mind map which provides a quick insight into what we have learnt.
The following assessment is the key to gauge what we have imbibed. Kudos to you if you have managed to answer all. If not, revisiting the tutorial will help reinforce concepts. Thanks for watching. If you find the content of the video useful, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive updates on new videos.